In this video, we're going to go more in depth into the gas furnace sequence of operation and talk about some of the individual components in more depth, as well as uh, talk about some things that you might run into uh, when your furnace isn't working properly uh, and some tips and tricks there. So let's first start on this side and we're gonna first start with the circuit board. So the circuit board, uh, if you look down here, there are terminals and there's five of them, uh, common green, red, white, and yellow. And uh, for the purposes of this video, what I've done is I've jumpered uh, red and white. So red is power, 24 volts, uh, and it comes actually off of this transformer right here. And uh, white is heat. So this um, control board is wired directly to the thermostat. So it's actually the, the thermostat that does what is called uh, in the industry a call for heat. And it sends a message uh, to um, connect the red and the white. So uh, when that happens, it starts the sequence of operations, which we're going to talk about in this uh, video. So behind here, you see the blower motor up here at the top. And then inside is uh, is a cage. It's called a uh, wheel, uh, which turns and blows uh, the air. Actually, it pulls it through this side here, which is the return. So if we look over here, this is our return and it flows uh, through the filter into the blower motor and gets pulled right over here uh, to the left into the heat exchanger, which if we look at this cabinet, the heat exchanger is, is back here. So uh, talking about the sequence of operations, again, the thermostat, it sends a message to the control board to, to start the heat operation. The control board is going to send a message to this right here, which is the inducer motor. The inducer motor has a really important job to remove and expel the combustible gases and fumes uh, as a result of the burning of gas through the flue pipe and out through the roof in this case. Um, and uh, we have a safety um, to know that the inducer is on and it's not blocked in the flue pipe. Uh, and it's with up here the pressure switch. So, for example, if there was a bird uh, nest or something that were to block the, the flue pipe, uh, the pressure switch up here would not close and it would not operate uh, or allow the furnace to operate. Similarly, if this um, motor was bad, the same thing, the furnace uh, would not start. So that's a safety feature in the pressure switch. Now, if we look over here, up the top here, we see uh, the igniter. The ig Niter, uh, in this case, is going to turn cherry red. Um, there's other types of igniters that might spark. Um, this one will turn red uh, from resistance and will start the flame. Um, after the gas valve opens. So uh, next in the sequence, the gas valve, which if we look here, the gas is piped in. Uh, and here's our control valve. It comes up here, up into um, the valve. The valve opens and it sends the gas over here to the burners. And um, that's ignited. And then here at the bottom, we have what is called a flame rod or a flame sensor rod um, and its job is important as well. It's a safety uh, and 
it senses when there's flame. So uh, um, if uh, there's not flame, the unit will shut down. Um, I'll tell you, this is a common point of failure uh, in that the flame rod gets dirty with carbon and you need to, um, every season, remove this and clean it uh, with a Scotch-Brite pad like this one. And I will put a link in the description of how to do that. Um, so it's also possible that the igniter doesn't light. So uh, uh, if we get to the inducer motor turning on and the pressure switch closing, but this, the igniter doesn't turn on, um, it could be uh, defective. Uh, so there we talked about the flame switch. Uh, and then there's about a 30 second delay after that, um, that the blower motor will kick on. So you might ask, why is it a 30 second delay? It's because we don't want to push cold air through the vents um, and make the room cold. So uh, the blower allows time, the delay allows time for the heat exchanger to warm up and uh, then the blower kicks on and will um, send the warm air into the room. Now let's uh, connect up here our switch and I have it wired up here. This is a safety switch on the door that I'm about to uh, close and we'll watch the sequence of operations here. Okay, so you should hear, you hear the click. We saw the light on the circuit board come on. Um, if that doesn't come on, you could have a fuse here that's blown or the transformer as well could be done. Okay, so we saw uh, the inducer motor is on, the pressure switch uh, has closed, and we're now gonna watch the cherry red light up here come on. And our gas valve opens, and we have gas. We have burning gas, I should say. So here in a moment, we're gonna hear another click, and We'll see that we have um, the blower motor come on. And it's just came on, so hopefully that gives you uh, a good overview of sequence of operations of a gas furnace. Again, we talked about some points uh, with the flame rod. It could be dirty. The igniter uh, cannot come on. It could be faulty. Um, I talked about here, if we don't have a light on the control board, it could be the transformer. It could, could also be um, a blown fuse, uh, which is typically indicative of, of a wiring issue as well. And uh, up here, I didn't really address this exactly, but um, this is an older motor. It's called a PCS, a, a permanent split capacitor uh, motor uh, to the blower motor up there. And if that uh, capacitor is bad, uh, the blower motor will not start. So, hope this has been helpful. If you like the video, uh, give me a like and subscribe. Thank you.